betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. We on to race number two now, which is the start of the place accumulator. It will jump at 13.05. It's over 1,400 meters. It's the Tab Gold New Soccer Corners FM73 Handicap for fillies and mares. And it is a bit of a tricky race, betting-wise. It's an open betting race with Star Choice and Miss Liala currently trading at around about 3 to 1. Kanabi number eight with Richard Furrier board currently trading at four to one. My value selection here, Dees, is number two, Forgedor from the Wendy Whitehead yard with the Atandiwe Magudla board. Now, when I looked at this race carefully, um, firstly, I looked at the average merit rating, which is an average rating of 72. Then I looked at a few of the, the, the form runners, uh, number three, Miss Liala, number four, Star Choice, as well as number eight, Kwanabi. And then I looked at the, the average rating that number two, Forgedor, has run in the last start. It was an average rating of 78. Now, this one made up reasonable enough ground in the last start, finished fifth, 4.5 lengths behind Red Roses 2. That was over 1,200 meters now steps up to 1400 meters and there's a massive draw swing around as well. So the last start was drawn 7 out of 8, prior to that 6 out of 10. The horse is now drawn, drawn 2 and I do believe this uh, represents some serious value at around about 6.5 to 1. Yeah, you know, you take your chance. You uh, like a horse at 6 to 1 in this field, then you must go for it because it looks like a race where I felt if you survive the place accumulator and the bar pot with the minimum spend, you'll be a winner here because you've made a nice case for number two, Forge Door. And I agree, for me, it's the draw is the big factor here because uh, the way she runs her best races, it seems like when she's given a confident ride, where she's let her user stride, uh, go to the front or race up handy and uh, not coming from off the speed. So that's a big plus for her. She's backed up by number eight, Kwanabi, who was a disappointment when supported last time out. But Richard Faree sticks with her, and she's drawn widest of all. This horse, Miss uh, Layla, for God Puller, in a very interesting interview uh, with him last time out, uh, he was talking about her head carriage and how awkward it is, can be in the finish. And he mentioned that she's got a knot on her neck and that's the reason why. But Muzi has just found the right way to win on this filly. And the key has been that if you get her to jump on terms rather than leaving her at the back of the field and a mountain to climb, then she can win. And she's shown this at her last two starts. Well, Muzi is not riding her, but she's on three in a row now. Uh, and still off of 54. I think the way she's been racing of late and what she's shown, although she took a long, long time to notch up that third career win, I still feel that she could be generously treated here off a 61 carrying 54 kgs. And let's see if Chase Mojin can get the same tune out of her that Muzi has in the last two starts. And then start choice, we know that she'll enjoy a hot pace in the race. The smaller the field, the better her chances because she won't have so many runners to pass by. But that said, Craig Zaki, last time out, I complimented him for not being too far out of his ground and getting into the race early because that day, if you can recall, when Mauritania won, she won't start to finish. And if Star Choice had to come from the back of the field, she was never going to win that day. So she was in a prime position turning to the race. And even though she's got 62 on her back, I have no doubt that she will be the fastest finisher in the race. And then just keep an eye on number seven here, dollar and dime. I think now that she's off a low mark, a 73, you could see some return to form, but I'll make it a tough race. Devon likes horse number two, Fortador. Numbers three, four, and eight will get a mention from me. But you're going to go all in here. Yeah, I'm going to go all in these. And one more thing I just want to mention uh, to the viewers out there. When I looked at the form, if you dig really, really deep, number two, Fortador has beaten uh, number three, Miss Leala, some time back. 
as well as number four, star choice, which gives me a little bit more confidence. So I'm going to go all in with the value se selection number two, Forge Door. I don't think that six and a half to one is going to last too long. Yeah, this horse number four, star choice. You know, I just have to pay compliments to Frank Robertson because as a seven-year-old, she's all won three races this season. And she's been on the boil from the beginning of the season. You have a look at, he hasn't been shy to race her. And I think she's sound. He's done an excellent job with her number four star choice. But Fortunato going to be the value for Devon. I'll make it a bit more competitive than that. And to you, the valued racing fan, all the best if you're playing into the place accumulator. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.